Hey, what's up everybody? Review right here. And today we're coming with a special episode. I've been getting a lot of people out there commenting on my Instagram, letting me know, hey, how are you getting these big clouds? How are you getting the lengthy and wide and thick and whatnot? So today I got special guests to help me teach you guys how to do the cloud chasing technique. So we got Lee Hayes, AKA Vapen Hayes from Instagram. And I got Dana Tecker here, AKA Dana Tecker from Instagram. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put them in the bio below here so you guys can follow them. We got amazing pages. They post everything and anything about vaping. But we're gonna go into detail right now about everything you have to do about cloud chasing. So what you need to do is pretty much everything's airflow to vapor. It's how much airflow you have to your resistance to your inhale and your exhale. It's none of this team boner stuff where you go like that and have a little. It's airflow to vapor for everything. It's airflow, your resistance, your battery, all that stuff, your conductivity, all that stuff has something to do with how your, your inhale and your exhale is gonna work. So recently, I just helped another guy, shout out to Ben. Uh, you don't wanna hold it in your lungs because all you're doing is allowing the vapor to dissipate going to evaporate. So you just literally inhale it and then exhale. The last little bit is not going to go in your lungs, obviously, because when you're exhaling, it's not going to come out. So I see a lot of people doing this. Don't do that. All you're doing when you're exhaling is you're literally getting the last little bit of air out of your lungs. So you You see, mm. you're not literally doing this just because it looks cool. You don't want to do that because all you're doing is killing the juice. Wasting you're all that vapor. Yeah, you're going to take a hit and it's going to be dry because you wasted half of it on the damn exactly. X, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't even know what to call that, the choo-choo train. Yeah, the machine. So you literally just... <coughs> a little dry hit. <coughs> yeah, for trying to demonstrate team uh, boner there. I don't even know, choo-choo train. So, you take your juice. Make now, sure I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, how I do it, how Danner Tecker does it, how Ray Reviews does it, or Official Gamer Nerd Blog, depending on what social media you know I'm on. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna exhale, let all the air out of your lungs. And right before you start inhaling, you exhale the last little bit because you're not going to get all of it out until you actually put the mod to your mouth and start to inhale. So basically so, what he's trying to do here is a lot like I, I said before a lot of these guys are bending all the way down and getting all the way to the floor for no reason. A lot of bodybuilders and, and deep sea divers they, they use a method before they exhale all the air a lot of you guys think you have all that air out of your lungs, but you really don't. What you want to do is contract your abdomen and suck in your gut at the same time and bend over just a little bit. That's all you're doing, just a little bit. So a lot of these cloud chasers, they bend over just enough. A lot of these bodybuilders and deep sea divers, it's a specific muscle group. A lot of you guys know it as the abdomen or powerhouse for you workout gym freaks. But it's also known as the thoracoclumbar fascia. It's the big muscle group around your abdomen area, all the way from your riblets, your obliques, down to your core group. So a lot of bodybuilders, what they do is when they work out, they flex their abdomen and suck in their gut so they can push in their internal organs so that way everything is sucked in and they have that thin waist effect. Same thing with deep sea divers. When they're about to go real deep, they exhale all the air out, they compress their lungs, they compress their abdomen and suck in everything in to get all that airflow out. And then they're inhaling as much air as possible, pushing their air up and also expanding their chin upwards to get more airflow and then they're doing what they have to do. Same thing with us, we're making sure we collapse our lungs, we're flexing our abdomen and pushing it in and leaning forward just enough to get that gasp of air out. So when we're inhaling, we're getting as much vapor as possible and we're pulling our chin up and then we're sticking our chin out and shooting the vapor out. So we're about to have a demonstration right now. And I wasn't really trying to, I think you're using what, 50-50? Yeah. So 50-50 for the new drippers out there is 50 PG, uh, 50 VG. Uh, it, it's not too thick. Usually if you use even 90% VG, you'll notice the difference. But uh, we like to use, especially with cloud chasing, 100% VG and that's it. Buddy Danner Tecker here, also known as Danner Tecker on Instagram. I am going to put their info below so you guys can follow them. 
Uh, like I said, it's kind of like preference on your technique, but everybody, every cloud chaser does the same thing where they, you know, exhale, contract, lean forward, inhale, chin up, exhale. So we're about to see, you see him blowing rings and whatnot, he's pretty good at that, but we're about to see him do a little cloud chasing technique here. Back up right there. You're good. Alright, so as you see his chest is coming up, chin's coming up, exhale. As simple as that. He needs to work on a little everyone, you know, everyone's not great. He's more on the big tricks and whatnot, but we gotta beat him cloud chasing, so <laughs> my feels. <laughs> Alright, but other than that, right now, the next half of the video is more or less going to be a lot of different techniques of how to cloud chase. We're going to show you uh, my technique, Lee's technique, and Danner's technique of how we cloud chase on a more serious note. So next video coming up right now. Jesus Christ. No, yes. I didn't know I could inhale this long. 